guys, Brappy Peeps Susanna here today with Thermo Web, and we are teaming up with Newton's Nook, and I am sharing you, with you this layout that I created using some flock, uh, some glitz glitter gel, as well as my goodies from Newton's Nook. So unfortunately, I hit record, but it didn't record. Um, and so what I am doing now is I am working with one of the Newton's Nook stencils. It is um, the Boca stencil set. And so I've already used the mint underneath and then I've just used some Catherine Pooler. Um, it's called that, I think it's peppermint scrub, and I've used the pink and my um, brush to, or sponge, to smush those colors into the plain cardstock. And then what I'm doing now is I am putting some of my Glitz Glitter Gel on top of that just through the same stencil that I had already applied the, the pink ink directly down onto the paper too. And um, that is going to be some of the circles that cascade down from the top down to the bottom of the layout. Now the other thing that I didn't catch was um, how I use the Newton's Nook stamp. So I have um, that stamp up the top there is called Floral Roundabout and I paired that with Newton Newton's Nook's um, circle frames die and I used the large die of these really awesome dies and um, so I stamped it onto some Gina K cardstock, put down uh, some clear embossing powder, heated it and that has given me that top part um, that is up there. So what I want to do is I want to add some flock to this and so I am just using one of my Decofoil adhesive pens. Um, you have to activate the pen first which is why I have that scrap paper and you can see me going back and forth between the scrap paper um, and the stamped image and I'm just coloring in a couple of the flowers with that ink. I'm going to set that aside to dry. I am notoriously known for not letting things dry enough so I'm just going to keep working um, and while I'm working that's going to go ahead and dry so that I can directly apply some flock to those flowers there. I had already tested this whole thing out um, so I already have another piece that has already got some dried flowers on it um, and you will see me pull that out later and fussy cut some of those flowers to scatter in amongst the page. So the rest of the collection that I'm working with is Amy Tangerine's new collection um, and so I have fussy cut some pieces of that already which is what dictated the color palette that I am working with here um, is based on that Amy Tangerine collection. So you can see how I simply, literally, it's so easy, you cut out your flock and um, you could just use your, your thumbnail if you had a nail. I'm just using the edge of a, a metal Vicky Booten grayer or it's, it's one of her multi-purpose tools, um, and I am just literally smushing the flock into the dried adhesive, and um, that is picking up the flock, and voila! Isn't that pretty? Um, and what looks even better is I've gone in with um, some watercolors later, and I am will watercolor a few of the flowers as well. So now I have in the center of those dies from Newton's Nook is a heart, um, and so I'm just literally running the heart die through my die cut machine with some of the flock. No um, foam backing, I'm literally just using the flock straight. I find that because of my plates being really well used, that if I put the die down so that the flock isn't facing you, so the color isn't facing you, so it's just the back side of the flock that um, I get a, a better texture. It doesn't mess up the texture of the flock sheets, the uh, transfer sheets, when I'm doing that. So I really love the way that I have that darker um, teal that moves throughout the page there um, because the photo is really subtle. Um, I just like that it doesn't just dominate the page there. So using um, a, one of the six by eight sheets of Amy Tangerine with the, it's the third die in or it would be the third circle die out. Um, I just cut a little bit of green. Again, I want to build a little bit more color in the center of the layout there. And then I use the stitched die, um, thinking that I might journal in that spot there. Uh, but I didn't, uh, again, I needed the shot of color in the middle of the layout. And so um, I'm going to use that 
elsewhere in the layout. So um, my photo is actually cut in a circle, but not using any of those dies. I wanted it to be about the same size as the half circle, if not a little bit larger than um, that floral stamp that the doily is sitting on. So you can see the cascading circles um, that I have created using the stencil from Newton's Nook as well as some glitter and then flux. So most of the technique here has been completed. The rest of what I'm going to do is just uh, literally build the remainder of the layout. So I shifted that um, mint green circle up because I wanted uh, an equal spacing in the weight of the circle. So you can see the heaviness of um, the, the stamped circles up top, and then you've got that flower right there that I've put, um, followed by the weight of that pink glittered circle, um, and then you've got that big floral at the bottom. So it needed that mint green and it not to be white um, in the center to lead your eye down that cascade of circles there, or I should say roundish elements. Um, so now I just have the uh, other additional ephemera from Amy Tangerine's collection and I'm trying to pick out um, just some subtle things to intermingle in that cascade there. I don't want to overpower the stenciled images, but I do want to add just a little bit more. So that sticker you can't read there, um, it says you matter. Um, and then the pink one on the circle below the mint circle says, what a day. Um, and then I've got that there. And I just like the way that that little floral, that black and white floral just sort of ties it together. So it's almost like a column that moves down the page there. So um, I want to add one of these floral, uh, one of these floors, that's not a flower, Susanna, that would be a butterfly. Um, one of these butterflies, uh, I like movement on my page. And so by adding the butterfly, it's just going to allow me to have something that's being popped up off the page. And I'm going to use these dots the single and these are the medium sized dots to apply that. I like the dots because it's just a circle of adhesive in the center. And so the wings aren't stuck down. I will um, off camera use that white circle that you see in the top right hand side of my of my screen that I thought was going to be the center of the mint circle. I'm going to use that because I feel it, there's something missing up that top right there. So I'm going to put that there along with a second fussy cut flower, which will also be adhered using dots. I'm just using some epoxy dots as the center of the flowers here. Um, and I like the way that that just adds that little finishing touch to the flowers there. And so you've got a cascade of circles and flowers that come down the page. And um, I felt like I, so I, I'm going to, going to cut out this darker um, aqua here and it's going to be too dark. So I will cut out the pink that I've got there um, and I will stick with the pink one, uh, fussy cut flower. But again, it just brings something that's up that top in the page down into the bottom of the page for some consistency to tie the whole page together. So not only do the circles tie the page together um, and the color scheme tie the page together, but elements that are scattered and sprinkled throughout the page as well. So that's the pink flower that I'm going to go ahead and stick with um, and get rid of that darker one. And um, I'm going to have to move it from where it is because of where I choose to place the title there. Um, so the title, I am going to go to some old stickers um, that I have, and it looks like you'll see when I put it down, but somebody took a chunk out of the H there. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what happened. I think I wonder if it was when I put it away. Um, and so this says Cherish, and then I found in one of the Amy Tangerine stickers, um, I don't know, I can't remember what the top of the sticker said, but it says, um, so the title becomes Cherish These Memories, and so I'm just using some of my stash for the letter these. But because I've got that weight of that black in Cherish, I feel like I need something black at the top and something black at the bottom, and so that's why I'm going to go with that XO at the bottom and the little heart at the top there. Again, it distributes the weight evenly throughout the layout along the same line of movement of the cascade of circles there. So that is going to wrap up my page. Be sure to um, 
check over on the blog for specifics as to the things that I um, used if you're interested in that. And um, enjoy the close-ups. If you have any questions about the process that I've done with any of the ThermoWeb or Newton's Nook products, please don't hesitate to ask in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.